I'm here with Guy Holper, Director of Energy at Ivy, to discuss his research on the energy sector in Canada. Yeah, can you tell me about the upcoming Energy Sector Conference on June 2nd and what will be discussed? Yes, yeah, so this is a conference that's organised jointly by Ivy, the Energy at Ivy uh, Research Centre, and the University of Waterloo, the Council for Clean and Reliable Electricity, which is a non-profit uh, energy policy think tank, and also Gowling's uh, law company. The broad topic of the conference is to look at regulatory governance in the electricity sector. And governance refers to the ways in which policy decisions are made and by who has responsibility for making these decisions. So we'll be looking at the respective roles of ministers, regulatory agencies and boards, and the legislature. So it's very distinct from looking at specific policies that affect the sector, such as rate of return regulation, privatization, restructuring, the operation of wholesale markets and so forth. It's looking at the process by which policies are made. And the view is that the, these processes can have a very fundamental impact on the performance of the, of the sector and whether it's operating efficiently or not. Why is it so important to look at policy options in this sector? So the electricity sector in Canada is facing a number of, of fairly significant challenges at this point in time. There are tremendous upward cost pressures, uh, which come partly from uh, the relationship between power generation and emissions uh, and the contribution towards global warming. So there's been a move now to try and encourage renewable energy uh, power generation, but this is more expensive. Uh, so there's upward, co uh, upward cost pressure uh, on that front. And there's a lot of uncertainty about how to integrate renewable energy, for instance, into the existing power infrastructure. So governments are looking at a number of options to try and reduce some of this c cost pressure uh, by implementing smart grids, uh, by trying to implement uh, restructuring reforms, by trying to manage demand through uh, retail pricing uh, mechanisms. So there's tremendous uncertainty about which policy options are going to be effective, whether they're technically feasible, and also the magnitude of the impacts of these policies. So there are a lot of difficult decisions that are facing policymakers these days. You mentioned renewable energy, and I know that's a priority in Canada. What factors are impacting growth in this area? So lots of governments are trying to encourage investment in renewable energy these days, and there aren't enough companies and investors going around to be able to meet all the government's uh, demands. So this is a very competitive field, and investors are quite discerning about the policy environments and the marketplaces where they make their investments. So in order to understand, well, what are really the key factors that drive investment in renewable energy, I organized a, a survey, I implemented a survey with some colleagues a year ago, and we surveyed almost 100 companies in the renewable energy sector who are active in Canada and abroad. And our goal was to understand really what factors are influencing the location decisions uh, for investors, and how does Canada, or specifically Ontario, rank on these? So one of the main things that we found in the survey was that the stability of the policy environment ranks as being absolutely critical for investors when they're making their investment decisions. So not surprisingly, they're much more attracted to jurisdictions where there's a history of stability, consistency, and predictability in renewable energy policies. And these investments are usually predicated on uh, government subsidies and specific programs to support renewable fuels, given that they're, they're more expensive than traditional fossil uh, fuel um, sources. So that was, I think, fairly consistent with our expectations. And we found that, at least for Ontario, stability ranks has been fairly poorly uh, in terms of uh, comparisons to other uh, factors. And this reflects the fact that over the last eight years or so, the government has implemented a number of fairly drastic changes to renewable energy policies. A number of feed-in tariffs have been introduced, modified, changed, new ones have been introduced. So this has created a climate of uncertainty as to whether any existing program is really going to last in the future. So one of the challenges for governments is to try and lay the groundwork for a more stable, predictable environment. And then it will be easier to attract the levels of investment that the government is hoping for.